the puffer jacket. This is ultra casual, so always remember that. That being said, I think this is a great jacket to have, especially if you understand if it fits well, it can be athletic, it can be something you can wear outdoors, or you can wear it as an additional layering piece. Now, this jacket's known as the fatigue. Also, you're going to hear the field, you're going to see the M65, but in general, we're going to see these key characteristics. First up, the button front. Rarely are we going to see zippers on the front. Next up, we're going to see the four pockets on the front, and right here on the sleeves, we're also usually going to have it so it can be buttoned and unbuttoned. In general, this is not going to be a jacket that has bright colors on it. The next jacket on our list, and this one has a military history as well, and that is the blouse. Now, blouse and jackets are very similar stylistically to bomber jackets, but a few key characteristics. First up, the material. On the outside, we're not going to see leather. We're going to see cotton. Next up, the overall weight of the jacket. It's going to be much lighter than its bomber counterpart. And when we look on the inside of the jacket, most blouses nowadays, we're going to see just a brighter tartan pattern. 